Hello everybody and welcome back to the Night Garden, our vanilla survival let's play and thanks for staying with me after our Ender Dragon fight because that was the most boring video I've ever made I think and I've never seen anybody do an interesting dragon fight. As you can see all the spawners are switched off, all lit up and there is a reason for this. We've run out of space here so we've moved downstairs we've come down here new area and if we come through here if I don't fall down you'll see that the zombie spawner is actually just here there it is so little did I know, so I hadn't done the maths or worked anything out. But when we're in this new room, our spider spawner, our skelly spawner, and our zombie spawner are all active. And when I was digging this out, all you could hear was skeletons clanking, zombies groaning and spiders hissing and it was horrific. But if I'd have known, I'd have set up down here instead of up there and we'd have had three times the XP. Now as you can see I've been working. I had a little trial run because I didn't want to do it wrong on camera basically and as normal I've got my redstone on stone brick so I don't knock it out from underneath when I'm caving. So as you can see this is a very similar setup to our 3x3 door except we have a triangular pattern so um, let's start work. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. There's my splash potions because I've been killing the skellies. Slime spawn down here all the time, which I've mentioned before, which saves us having to build a slime farm. So as I said, this is the same as the as the door. I'll give a quick demonstration before we build too much. So if we put a pressure pad above that loop of redstone, we've got all these torches are alight, and there's redstone up there that's shining away. Everything switches off. Then on again. So all we've done with the redstone here, it'll become more apparent when the pistons are in, but same as the door torch, a dot, and then we half slab staircase it up. Both sides the same. So we'll leave this in place because that could help us test things as we build. So the first thing we want is a piston facing upwards. Three of them. So they will all extend. Like I said this is the same as the door. We want everything to be on by default. As I said, I've built this once already because I'm not a redstone genius and I didn't want to make a three hour video while I try and work out what on earth I'm doing. So we had a bit of preparation work. I hope you don't mind that. I think that's better. Better for me, anyway. That's there. And this one should go there, I think. Alright, we can give that a quick test with... What block shall we use? We'll, we'll use cobble, since that's not actually part of our build. That will stand out. Right, that's exactly what we want it to do. So now it will become clearer, I'll show you again, just in case you fancy doing this. So each one of these is a hole with a torch in. We have a loop of redstone, step up one to a torch, up on top of another, 
with a dot and you can staircase with half slabs because the half slabs don't cut the signal off like a hull slab would. This one powers that piston. The other side doesn't need to go all the way to the middle because the middle piston is obviously powered from the left. The right hand side is powering the right hand piston. So that is as simple as that. Now I have to remember what on earth I had here. I had this completely built <laughs> and I don't like to build anything without showing you so I knocked it all out again. Apart from that small bit of redstone just to make sure we got it right. Or just to make sure I got it right. So we're going to have a light wood floor something like this I don't know if we'll need all these as light wood but we'll probably waste no end of materials like I normally do but we'll use, we've got plenty of this so we'll use it yeah the ender dragon fight was pretty boring but like I said I've never seen anyone do an interesting ender dragon fight it's just one of them things in Minecraft, it's not difficult, it's just a bit long-winded. Right, I think... oh yes. Now, this for the purpose of the exercise. Can be a switch. Right, I want something like that. I think we'll put cobble here. And have I got any... I should have everything I used because I kept it all down here. Some nice half slabs, or slabs, whichever you prefer to call them. So we'll have one of them. Hopefully we've got this lit up enough so we don't have mobs spawning in here. After the potion room build I had a groan and zombie I had to had to dig out and find. To dig all through the potion room and found a nice little dark area I'd left behind. Not unusual. Not when I build anyway. Try and light everywhere up. And forget. I obviously have lost some of these during the chopping up process. And then halves. Right. That clearly Hmm. He says clearly. I'm trying to think what I've done now. What? Ah. Yeah, that's that. Don't know what we've done here. Yeah, something like that. Right, let's get rid of these. See if we can make something of this. Right, I think I had some nice white ones in the corners. And what else have we got in the box? Should have been finished with cobble for now. Yeah, them cobble in the corner is throwing me because that doesn't seem right. No. Oh, I did make an axe. Especially for the occasion. 
Yeah, that looks that looks okay. Something like that. And again, I'm up a bit. Right. Is this anything like how I had it? Possibly not. Now, how did we have the ceiling? I believe we had some of these. Some birch stairs. Ah, now we know what the cobble was there for. We won't be needing a shovel, so we'll get that off the hot bar. Right. This should... I'm doing it again. This should cover up anything we don't want to see. No. I can cure that. That and the same here. I think I'd have the hang of this by now. When no, that's wrong. That cannot be there. So why is this different to that? Does that do it? Houston, we have a problem. I thought I had this side wired up differently and I couldn't work out why. Is this not symmetrical? Right, we need to go in and have a look. Right, the wiring is back to exactly how it was. I was just trying to put the stairs in the wrong place. I was trying to put the stair a block further back than it needed to go. So, there you go. A bit derpy. But never mind. Yep, the wiring was fine. I thought I practice built this. I purposefully left the wiring because I thought that's the one thing that could go wrong if I'd rip it apart and forget how I'd done it. So now, hopefully, we should be able to put this back to how it was. I think I've got a torch in here still, yep. And everything will be fine. Can't believe that. I can't believe I tried to, well, change the design inadvertently. So now I think I'm going to continue this out here, like so, maybe even right out to here, and half slab, half slab. something in there, and there it was. A couple of nice pieces of glowstone. Oh, that was a file. What pick have I got? Worker. But I did bring my ender chest down here. We got silk touch. That will do nicely. The ceiling's low enough already without so that removes any, well, we've got a small light and glitch there, but without these there's all sorts of light and glitches and it looks hideous. Some of you may think this looks hideous anyway, but I hope not. No, that is correct. We're freestyling now, it's only the technical side of the build I was 
I'm worried about. Hmm. Maybe I'd smooth stone now, I don't know. Right. Back with the stairs. Have I got any? I don't think I've got much. Not on me anyway, so I wasn't expecting to do that much damage. Trying to rebuild some wiring that was perfectly fine. Well, we maybe got just enough to tidy that up. What have we got going on at the front? Hmm. Yeah, we'll use silk touch on that, that was okay. Probably be the easiest way for us to get some smooth stone at the moment. Right. Now, oh yes. So this should be lit up, yeah. So our wiring is actually back, as I said, exactly how it was. It was just me making an error. Right, so what haven't we got? And what do we get for our money with 48? Six. That's a bit convenient. No, it's not. That's not what we need at all. Oops. Probably going to get so far and realise we haven't even got enough wood to complete this project. So that's the way I work. What have we got in here? 23. Oh, we've got loads. We are going to need loads. We are going to need loads. Now we've got it. Eight. You can never have enough chests. Especially when you start collecting the amount of clutter we've got. Alright, we've still got plenty of wood, plenty of books. Um, we don't need six of them, we need ten. Yeah, that would have been better to have done that. Lovely. Oops. It's not going to work, and I should have silk touched that. I had to go reed hunting as well. I was all ready for this build, or I thought I was, because I've been. Well, the whole point of this build is you. I've told you several times what I do. I play this on my own. And I don't like to build anything without you, so I just use it for mining and general resource gathering, etc. And all the time I do that, I have my zombie spawner and the skeleton spawner running for XP and I spend the XP on books and I have got a lot of books and the books are getting out of control I am overrun with books so this is the whole purpose of this build so this is going to be our library Come in. Enchanted books are going to be in these. We're going to have armor and armor, and tools and tools, and weapons and weapons. It's easy for me to remember because that's alphabetical order left to right. So I think that's quite. I'm quite happy with that. We could put a couple of finishing touches on it. Don't know what I've got in here. Let's get that. Have we got?
got enough. We have got enough of. We'll, we'll convert these. Can never have enough sticks. Four. Only wanted three. I'm really on form today. None of that went down there. I hope. Right. What have we got? What have we got in our in our storage room? Yeah, I couldn't have everything running today. The frame rate would have just fell over. It would have been terrible. We'll have. What's that? Is that our thorns one? That is. We want. Mm, Graffinity. Well, we'll take a pair of iron boots. And. What have we got in here? Nothing. Right, that was hardly worth the bother. That'll do for now. So what I was going to do here is we'll have a pick and we'll have a sword. Just trundle back up here because they're not going to be a lot of good, or well, they're not going to look very good if they're not enchanted either. Oop. I'm not going to stick a level 30 on it, that's for sure. I do have to say though, when I first start out, I'm just as Get an enchanting table as soon as you can, and I will enchant stone tools. Even if it's only look, we've got efficiency one, that's going to help you no end. Sharpness one, that's brought it up to nearly iron status, and protection one. Protection one on iron armor makes it, gives you the same protection as diamond armor, with no enchantment on it. Sharpness one on an iron sword does the same damage as a diamond sword with no enchantment on it, so level one enchantments are well worth it, especially when you're just starting. These could look a bit silly here, but we'll have a look. We'll have a look. Oh, he's going to let us play some anyway, something. But they don't look too bad. So we said arm first, didn't we? Tools. And then weapons. Right, so by the magic of video editing, I've moved the books. So in armor, we have projectile protection, protection, fire protection, thorns, aqua affinity two nice feather fallen fours tools fortune three which by the way I combined a fortune two uh, sorry a looting two with my looting two sword and made it looting three I done that off camera I didn't mean to I loaded up the anvil to see how much experience it would cost and rather than taking the book and the sword out I took the combined sword out so sorry about that but efficiency plenty of them I was waiting for an unbreaking three and got three in a row when it rains it pours and weapons couple of fire aspects too I said to anyone want to buy a sharpness book couple of knockbacks some smite and then we've got the bow enchants in infinity which we don't really need and power so any self-respecting minecrafter. Let's have another look at that. I quite like that. I think that looks good. And works well. Obviously the N2 bookcases are just for decoration. And at a later date we might add if we need to. But I don't think we will. Right. Any self-respecting minecrafter should really have a pair of feather fallen boots. So let's go and make ourselves some 
candle's about to break, so this might be the last thing. Six. A bargain. Let's put these on. Now we can jump from great heights. Get my boots. Well everyone, thanks for watching. I hope this was a bit more interesting than the dragon killing. So, see you next time. Bye bye.